today to share with you how I made this fabric cuff which is so stinking adorable I love it so um uh, what you'll need is some muslin is what I used and you're gonna have to measure it on your wrist so my piece of muslin was about uh, five and three quarter inches long and I didn't even measure the width but you just want it to be long enough to fit whatever stamp you're using and I was I used this beautiful uh, Zen butterfly love this stamp so I used that so I made it wide enough to fit that and so I have three layers of that muslin cut the same size and then I, I cut um, you need some ribbon so that you can tie your cuff up um, when it's finished and then I used some distress ink and black soot and I used this sparkly embossing black with a glitter finish. I love this so much. And a blending tool and some stickles. And that's all you need. And you can make your own cuff. So I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. Okay, so I have my piece of muslin cut and ready and on my cutting board to be stamped. I have to use a cutting board because my table is very um, wonky. And I've got the beautiful Zen butterfly mounted to this acrylic block and I am going to ink it up with the uh, black soot distress ink. Oh, excuse, my little fairy's hair is in the way of the camera there. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I am going to load this up really well because you want, especially when you're doing it on fabric, you really need to have a lot of ink on and you want it to be, if you're gonna heat emboss like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna need it to stay wet and ink tends to dry quickly on fabric. <laughs> so it's kind of like a speedy process. So she's all inked up and beautiful and ready to go. And now I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. And I'm gonna press it down, all down real good because you wanna get it all in the fabric then I'm just gonna lift it it's gorgeous I'm gonna put it in my tray and hurry up and sprinkle on my uh, glitter black embossing powder go, 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 go. okay right now that I have the powder on everywhere I can go ahead and put the lid back on my ink before I make a big mess because that's usually what I do I'm gonna set my stamp to the side and now I'm going to uh, shake it off and see what kind of image we got. Oh, we did good. Look, at, it's beautiful. And we are going to brush off that extra. But first, let me put this up because I am prone to messes. So I just want to take care of that real quick before I make a big mess. Now if I make a mess, it won't be as big. So yay. <laughs> get the lid on. All right, so... Let me give it a, a couple more taps and now I'm going to try to brush it off. Now the thing about embossing on fabric is you're not going to get as clean of an image as you would on paper because this embossing powder just it sticks. It sticks to fabric. It's hard, hard to get off. I'm gonna move that out of my way to brush off some more of this. But I'm not too worried. It's still gonna be so pretty because it's gonna be on a cuff, so it'll be nice to have like little black sparkles everywhere. But I do wanna get it clean. So this is kind of a stiffer bristle brush. It's not a soft one because I need a stiff one. It seems to work better in this situation. <laughs> All right. Just to be careful not to brush on your image. You don't want to lose any of that stuff there. That's why I did it in black ink also. I stamped it in black ink also. So if I accidentally rubbed off some of the embossing powder, you wouldn't really be able to tell because it's all black. So the tricky part is up in here. So... I'm going to try to loosen the powder a little bit and then kind of blow it off. It's very technical. Ooh, I got some berries. Okay. All right, that's looking better. 
we do the same thing on this side. Okay, all right, that's good enough. Okay, now we're gonna heat emboss it. I like to heat it up before I touch it, um, before I heat the um, powder. And you wanna be careful on fabric because it is very easy to burn fabric. So you just cannot leave it too long in one spot. So I'm gonna keep, keep it moving, but I still wanna melt my powder. <laughs> it's so cute look at how cute it is see it's not a perfect image might be able to brush off some stuff but it's still very cute so let's make our cuff so to put the cuff together i am going to use three pieces of muslin uh, you could use felt in the middle if you wanted to but then it makes it a little bit warm on your wrist so it's really just your personal preference but the reason i need the fabric in the middle is so that you won't i'm going to put the ties on the last layer and put the other two on front that way you won't be able to see the tie uh, so much through the front layer so i'm actually going to use uh, four ties because you want to kind of get them close up to the edge because what will happen is these corners will curl if you just have one tie in the middle. So I don't want that to happen so I'm actually going to uh, put the ties there and then the same place on this other side. Now you could just glue it down, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sew it because I, I like the contrast of the black thread around the edges. And um, I'm not going to fin have finished edges because I want to fray them because you know I like things to be shabby. So I will show you what it looks like after I get that finished. But I got it sewn together and I have distressed up the edges, but now I need to add a little sparkle. Even though the embossing powder was a sparkly um, black embossing powder, it doesn't have nearly enough sparkle for me and I'm the one who's wearing it so we're going to sparkle it up. So I'm going to be using stickles because that's what I have. Um, I'm using some mermaid tail, some of the silver, and I'm just putting them in a little lid like this. Now um, the sticker, stickles um, gel that is available at Lavinia World, it will work perfect for this also. And then I'm going to use some of the stardust. And I'm just going to put them in there. And I am going to use uh, this blending tool, which is also available at Lavinia World. And I'll have all the links below. And I kind of just mix them all together. And then I'm literally just rubbing it around to get all the different colors. Sparkle. Whatever. Oh, yes, I love it. You get every last bit. I love it so I hope that you can see the sparkle so I'm gonna let that dry and then I will put it on and take some pictures to tack on here at the end so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you'll give it a try and I'll see you guys on the next one